Hey, what's up guys? This is Nair Sheikh from blogdude.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a super professional website using WordPress in just 10 minutes. Yeah, you heard it right bros, in just 10 minutes. So let's get started. To create a website, we just have to follow three simple steps. First is to get a domain name and a hosting account. Second, to install WordPress on our domain and third, to customize our website. So let's begin with the first step. Okay guys, so for both hosting and domain, we prefer HostGator. So just type in blogtoot.com slash HostGator in your URL bar and press enter. Once you do so, you will be redirected to this page. As you can see, there are three different plans. You can select any one of them. I prefer the baby plan. So just click on sign up now. Now here, put in the domain name you want. If you already have a domain name, just click on over here. Now the second step is to choose a hosting plan. We have already selected the baby plan. Now choose a billing cycle. I prefer the 12 month. Now put in any username. Now put in security pin. It must be four to eight characters long, may only contain numbers. Now the third step is to enter your billing information, your basic information like email address, first name, last name, your personal address and so on. And put in the credit card or the de debit card details through which you want to make payment. You can also pay with PayPal. So for that, just click on PayPal over here. Or if you want to pay with credit card or debit card, select this one. Fill in the, all the details. Now fourth option is some additional services. We don't want any. So just deselect everything which is selected. Now come down to the final step which is to enter a coupon code. Now here put in webdude45 and click on validate. By doing so you get additional discount on the product. Now come down and click over here. I have read and agreed to the terms of services and click on checkout now. After you do so, you'll receive an email from HostGator which must look something like this. Now let's open this email and see what it has. Okay guys, so as you can see it has some really important informations and links. So what you have to do just save this mail somewhere where you can remember. Now here first is the control panel link. Now open this link in a new tab and copy and paste your username and password over here and after that click on login. Okay guys, so we have completed the first step which was to register a domain name and a hosting account. Now the second step is to install WordPress on our website. So over here you will see WordPress one click installation. Just click on that. Once you click on that you will be redirected to this page. Now from here you have to select the domain. So select your domain and make sure the directory thing is empty. Now click on next. Now put in any block title for example website by Nayer and put in any admin user. Now your first name, your last name and any email address. Make sure the email address you enter is active and you have access to that email address. Once you do so, tick mark this terms of service agreement and click on install now. It says WordPress is installing. Now it says installation is complete. You get your username and password over here. Now open this link in a new tab. Okay guys, once you do so, you might see this page website coming soon or sometimes you might see the 404 error page. So for that, just wait for some time and everything will be fine. So once you see something like this website coming soon page, so what you have to do, go to your URL bar and after your domain name, put in slash WP dash admin and press enter. Now over here, copy your username and your password and paste it over here. Now click on login. Okay guys, so we have successfully installed WordPress on our website. Now let's see how our website looks like. How are we here? And open this link in a new tab. So this is how our website looks like now. We can also beautify this website by installing some theme. So let's do that. Come back to your dashboard. Here you'll see something called appearances. Click on appearances. Here as you can see, we already have three themes, but we don't want this one. We want another theme, a beautiful theme. I have given a theme link in the video description below. Click on that link. Once you click on that link, you will be redirected to this page. From here, click on download now for free because this theme is free. It's a great thing. Once you do so, one file will be downloaded. Now we have to upload that file. So from here, click on upload. Now click on upload theme. Now choose a file. Choose that file which you have just downloaded. Your file might look something like this, Zerif dash light. So select that file and click on open. Now click on install now. So your theme is getting installed. 
Meanwhile, your theme is getting installed, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Once the theme is installed, now click on activate. So we have successfully activated the theme. Now again, come back to your website and let's refresh the website and see how it looks like now. Okay guys, so as you can see, our website looks amazing. So we have successfully completed the second step. Now we have to do the third step, the final step. So for that, just come back to the top and over here you will see something called customize. Just click on that. Customizing is very simple in WordPress. For example, suppose you want to change this title over here. So what you do is just click on over here, big title section, main content and let's change the text. Type in something like Mayer is awesome. Now as you can see you have two buttons over here. You can also change their labels like button one. So as you can see now it says button one. You can also redirect this button to any page or any different website if you want. Now let's come back. Okay, so as you can see now it says features. Suppose you want to change these features to something different. So what you do is again come back and here under our focus section, here you see features. Now change that. So as you can see I have typed future and everything is changed over here. Now suppose you want to change this thing, for example it says parallel effect, here is the image and some description. So just click on this pencil and here the thing will open up. As you can see here it says parallel effect, so you can change this thing also. For example I am typing in effect 1 and as you can see the changes were here. You can also change this thing, here is the text, you can put in any text. Just type in some text and everything will be changed over here. This is how you do it. So similarly you can change all this thing, all the images and everything. Now is the about section. So again, come back to the about us section, main content and here it says about. So let's do about us. So as you can see the changes have taken place. You can also change this text over here, everything you see here. So this is the text and the text content is over here. You can also change this thing, the number, your skill it says, so just click on feature number one and here it says your skill number one as you can see. Now let's delete your and let's keep it skill number one. So as you can see the changes are taking place. We can also change the number, for example instead of 80 we want to make 65, so just do that. Boom, 65. So it is so simple. Similarly, click on this pencil and everything can be changed from here. Everything. Similarly in testimonials, click on this. Just you have to click on that pencil and everything will be changed. After you change everything, just click on save and publish. And cut this thing. And suppose you want to add some pages or some posts so hover over here under new and you can select post and page and anything you want. Okay guys so this is how you create a website but this is not the end. Suppose you want to learn everything in detail in depth so what you can do is click on the link which is given in a video description.